Hey friends, Lee Brown here and welcome to Revive Coast to Coast 2019. If technology should, you know, make it possible for you to, you know, virtually hug, a, virtually hug, hug someone. What are the pieces of technology that do those repetitive things that anybody could do? Stop looking at it against, us against them. It's does it solve a problem? Does it ease the consumer pain? If it does, figure out how you deliver the same experience. Talk to people about low down payment programs. People don't know, especially non-owners, how to get into a home. A lot of people get scared that millennials are new and different, but really they're a lot like the boomers that we saw in the past. Um, and so their buying trends are the same. And so in, in talking about these trends, you can dispel the fear. We have these fears that millennials or Gen Zers, when they start to buy, they're embracing technology and that's gonna do away with how much they rely on our members, the realtors out there. But what we've actually seen in the data is that younger generations are more likely to use realtors than any other generation. So you're going to text your agent, your agent's going to be on social media, and that's how you're going to connect with them on Facebook Messenger and such. And that's a different relationship, but that doesn't, it doesn't replace it. Technology doesn't. And everyone talks about millennials and boomers, but everyone forgets that there is a generation called Gen Xers there. That's a really interesting generation. Uh, they were more likely to purchase during the boom years. They're the bridge between the millennials and the boomers, and this generation is at risk. So we're watching them bounce back, and there's a lot of encouraging news right now about Gen Xers, and they are rebuilding their wealth after the recession. But as they start looking towards retirement, as they have children who go off to college, this is gonna be an interesting generation to watch. And I'm, I'm really passionate about this subject because disruption is all around us, and disruption is not a bad thing. Real estate agents have nothing to fear about about disruption. For instance, everyone's so concerned about all these other people coming into the marketplace and these I buyers. What if you had gotten some ideas today about how to start and implement and execute your own I buyer program? It's, it's so important for agents to come to events like this to, to just get outside of their boxes. Some people work from home. Coming to events like this, while the content is awesome, it's just meeting other people and like minded individuals and just getting new ideas and getting energy. And you get those things from these events. That's how you actually go from idea to execution. What do you actually say when you talk to a client? How do you get them to build trust with you and do more things with you so you can become the advisor of choice? We live in an amazing environment where a lot of our clients are getting information from a wide variety of sources, but what they're getting is just ideas and learning, but they don't get real actionable strategies, strategies that you and I actually help clients with every single day in the living rooms and on buyer showings. My entire thought process today is to give agents a blueprint, a set of ideas on what you can do to help clients in the living room and in buyer appointments where you can take them from idea to execution to getting them the home that they want at a price that they want at the terms that they want. I've stood on the shoulders of giants. I have had mentors that have taken me under their wings and helped me become who I am today in a very, very humble way. Even if I gave back for the rest of my life, I could never pay back that debt, so I'm grateful to be here. So to have that fourth quarter where it seemed like homes stalled a little bit, interest rates went up, it kind of checked everybody to realize that you got to keep working. You have to keep your foot on the gas pedal down and go full throttle the whole way. You can sell houses. I sold a ton of houses in that quarter. It doesn't matter as long as you have focus and you know where we are in this market. There's always buyers and sellers who have to sell. It's about finding people who need to sell, right? Need to sell. Not want to sell, need to sell. I became successful because I was a realtor first. I wasn't a real estate investor without being a realtor so I'm always thankful for what I learned how to comp homes properly right how to work with buyers and sellers from institutional or regular all that gave me the foundation to be who I am today with the TV show and with buying and selling real estate for myself so it was just it's a no-brainer to be able to give back to this community I will always speak for realtors one thing that we can never lose is the realtor in this industry when it comes to buying or selling a home there has to be a realtor involved because they're the boots on the ground when it comes to knowing what's happening in different markets. So I'll always be here.